Hi guys, I want to thank you for clicking on today's video. This is the guest bedroom makeover part two. In today's video, I'm going to be painting and putting the new bed together. This is the side I'm going to put the bed on, but first I'm going to go around the room and make sure everything is sealed properly. As you can see right here, there is some spacing in between the wall and the baseboard. I'm going to go around with some caulk to seal it properly. You want to make sure you wear gloves while doing this because it can get pretty messy. Not only does caulk give your home a new and polished look, it's also great for insulating your home, so I definitely recommend having it handy. After going around the room, making sure everything is completely sealed, I'm going to put the plastic down so I can start painting. As I mentioned in my last video, the color paint I'm going with is a semi-gloss white. I allowed the caulk to dry for about 30 minutes before I started painting. I always like to start in the corner since they're always the hardest to get to. I went around most of the corners in the room. Now it's time to start painting with the roller. Because the walls are already a creamy beige color, I'm thinking I probably will only need two coats of the white paint. I'm really surprised how well the semi-gloss paint is able to cover the original paint on the walls. I definitely think two coats would be just enough to get the project done. It's really amazing how just applying some paint can change the whole look in the room. As tired as I was, I was so determined to get all the painting done on this day, so I decided to keep going. End up as friends, do it again, do it again, do it again. I trusted you once, but I won't, I won't do that again.
course you don't want to forget about your baseboards so I'm going to go around them with paint as well. It's the next day and this is how everything is looking after applying two coats of the white paint. As you can see the caulk did such a great job with sealing in between the wall and the baseboard. Again I highly recommend keeping some around. Now that the room is painted and dried, now it's time to put the bed together. This is a full size bed. I think it would fit really good in this room since the room is not that big. I did measure it before I purchased it, so let's see how it turns out. I figured the best way to start is to lay the bed straight down instead of trying to pull everything out from the side. It's a pretty large bed, so I want to make sure I don't damage anything while trying to get it out the box. I plan to purchase all the items for this room separately instead of it being an actual set. I want to get items that I absolutely love and items that I think that will look really good with the room. I'm still in the process of purchasing curtains for this room. I couldn't decide on what curtains I wanted to go with, whether I was going to choose white or beige, but I thought about going with beige because everything in this room is going to be white except for the bed. The walls are white. The dresser that I plan to get for this room is going to be white. So I just want to add some other colors, more um, beige or some wood tones, maybe a little bit of gold. But we will definitely see. And I plan to add an area rug in this room as well. As you can see here, I was a little confused because I couldn't seem to find the rest of the stuff that goes with the bed. I said, I know I didn't just order a headboard, but anyway, everything was actually zippered up inside of the headboard, which I thought was pretty smart, but we are just going to find all the pieces and get started with putting the bed together. Now that I have located all the pieces, now it's time to read the instructions and get started. I really love how all the pieces came with the bed with all the tools that you need to put it together. I highly recommend using some type of support for your knees while trying to do this kind of project because of course it could be extremely painful. The bed came with this foam to hold it in place so I decided to use that. This is how everything is looking so far. I was able to get the headboard together, the footboard, and the rails for the side, the frame. I had to do most of this off camera because I ran into a few problems at the beginning, but once I figured it out, it was super easy. This is now the hairboard while standing up. It is really beautiful. I think the hairboard is about 57 inches, which is pretty big. Just in case I did not mention, I got this bed from Amazon and I will leave the link in the description.
I am absolutely loving how this bed is turning out. It looks exactly like the pictures. It's extremely sturdy. And besides the little problem I faced at the very beginning, this bed was easy to put together. All you have to do is continue to follow all the instructions. This is how the bed is turned out now that it is done. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's very sturdy. And I just can't wait to get the mattress to go on top. I'm thinking about going with the 12-inch mattress. I just absolutely love the way this bed is looking. It's a linen fabric. And the color of this bed is actually the color of the walls before I painted them. But I just knew it would be way too much beige if I kept them the same. I just love the quality of this bed. I love the headboard, how big it is, and the thickness of it. It's a really good bed and it had amazing reviews online. There is a lot more we're going to be adding to this room. Of course, I'm going to start with adding the mattress, which I will be putting the order in for that tonight. I'm so excited to get it here. And we are reaching the end of this video. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I will be seeing you in my next one. Bye.